Bounce, 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 bounce. Are we live? Testing, we testing, testing, <laughs> testing, testing. Oh, like, I don't hear anything. I feel like we should always throw in a little testing, uh, testing. What are we testing? Intro testing music. Bounce, chicka, bounce, chicka, bounce, 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 chicka, wow, wow. This is not good. Um, I like this. This mic hype feels good. I think I'm okay with this position I'm in. Mm-hmm. Testing, testing, one, three, testing, testing, one, two, three. Are you at least 21 years old to enter this website? Yes, I am. Yes. Well, of course. No, hey, dude, up. use a coaster. Come on, have respect for the plastic table. I almost brought you some. Uh, I, s- I, ha- I have a couple of very nice fooder coasters from Freem stashed away. I was going to bring over for this one. That sounds absolutely Sorry, wonderful. I'll bring it before we get that too live on the video stuff. Absolutely wonderful. You got some sweet. 1980s pabs you, you like that over there yeah hell yeah i do <laughs> yeah it's like that's a little touch dude yeah this thing's gonna grow over the years i want this thing to just be like instead of having it like super clean and organized i don't want it to just be stacked full of stuff it's, yeah it's like just case, right? you know did yeah. you do you know who brought us this yeah I, okay yeah that was arranged yeah or that was, that arranged. was just a random drop off no we did a little swap we okay, got cool. a little merch swap for those kind of for yeah, those yeah. things i forgot to use them during the holidays i talked to angel about it but she didn't know neither of us yeah. knew what, what they were from <laughs> neither of you guys knew what the hell i was doing nope all right that's usually how this goes uh all right you welcome, ready welcome 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 <laughs> welcome to the podcast welcome to the show. i'm <laughs> jessica nelson no and you're this at... is not good <laughs> <laughs> it's not good. Hey, everyone, welcome to the show uh, where we talk beer. Oh, God. Hold on. This has been rough the last couple of times. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm Adam Stacy. Welcome to the show where we talk about all things beer with a heavy focus on tasting the there beer. There it is. There it is. Today, I am here with the podcast tech, Jesse Nelson. What's up, guys? As always. And uh, we yeah, welcome today. to their show. Yeah, this is great. That's great. I'll let you take that one. That's fabulous. Cheers. That's fabulous. That's on the fly. I couldn't remember. Uh, let's cheers right uh, yeah. before we even get going here. Cheers. Love it. And uh, dude, what's just like, let's just get into what's in our glass. <sighs> First off, we're sitting in the new studio. Yeah, we've rearranged a little bit, or you have, I should say. Mm-hmm. Um, and Got we're a- ready to start doing a little video. I'm yep. excited about it. Yeah, we'll get a little backdrop. We'll try to kind of try to focus on the camera every once in a while. At least, are we at least, going? Are we going? Is yeah, going? at least when we're laughing and stuff, you know. But and uh, it's feel awkward at first. Yeah, I think some past, present, potentially future mm. overflow stuff on the yes we do on the display yes, back here as well as some of our favorites. I see some Crooked Stave mm-hmm. shout out, Field House shout out, Boom Wander shout out oh, over for there. Sure. We got a for few sure. things. For oh. sure, we did this. We got this. You can't probably can't see it on the camera, but we got this little <laughs> this little light bulb that we made out of a cigar <laughs> yeah. box because we thought we'd maybe do that at the tap houses. Never made it. Never made it. This uh, overflow sign that was made by some friends, and I don't know. We'll see. We'll have to cut this out because nobody will see this on the podcast, but we'll figure it out. Well, before we get into the what's our glass, we All should right. probably jump into today's sponsor of the podcast for sure. And uh, we are brought to you unofficially by. Black Wolf Woodworks. Black Wolf Woodworks. New sponsor to the show. Um, we've been, you know, fans of a other bottle opener for a while, but we have made the move to Black Wolf Woodworks. Check out yes. this thing. It's it's like a handcrafted, yeah, put together wood, laser engraved overflow. It's yes. it's beautiful. Friend beautiful. of ours, James, made it for us. Yes, thank you, James. And, uh, yeah, we appreciate it a lot. Yeah, uh, yeah, those guys are awesome. And uh, he, did you see the post they made recently about how like he made a? Oh wait, you told me today you deleted your Facebook app, so you probably haven't seen this. I haven't been on Facebook. Come on, like bro, this week, is ridiculous, man. Come on, man. I got things I, to do. I guess you could depend on me to tell you everything. But he made a. Uh, um, like I forget what that pen's called, but like those fancy like letter writing pens. Yeah. Out of a deer antler. I've seen his pens in the past, and they're amazing. So anyway, James, we love you. Black Wolf Woodwork. Yeah. yeah. So we'll Give you a little plug. Herring on that. Yeah, yeah. All right. What's in your glass? What's in my glass? It is Modern Times Ice. Mm-hmm. No, not your hometown campfire no. natty Bush. ice. Yeah, natty Bush ice. ice. Whatever, <laughs> yeah, whatever is... your ice of choosing. 
This is modern times. Um, I wonder why they went with the name Ice. I'm sure you have something oh, for me. I'm sure it was <laughs> just off of that. I don't know exactly, but it's just, I, I love it. I think it's great, name. Yeah, is it like a, a Pilsner that has a little bit higher alcohol content? Is that what we're going it's for? It's a Pilsner. Um, we're sitting right at 4.8% okay, okay. alcohol, 30 IBU. So pretty standard. Actually, slightly lower on the alcohol than uh, typical, which maybe is why they went for that. But uh, yeah, Modern Times is a brewery, if you're not familiar with them, out of originally out of San Diego. They're spreading like wildfire. Yeah. They're really, really, really they're probably the fastest growing brewery in the country right now, fast. It's crazy. I mean, I just heard a thing of like they're opening like three pubs right now, brew brewery food pubs. And have five in the works or something That's like unreal. at the same time. You might as well. So aren't they like a? Didn't they have like? Is Modern Times the one that has like a investors that are like from the public and stuff like that, right? Yeah, Isn't they that? they just did it and uh, they got a bunch of flack for it. I was just listening to a podcast. Like I can't remember the one to tell you, but I heard they were getting like some flack for going that route, and then it ended up just panning out very very well for them, and they oh, way perfect. exceeded their goals and and like were you know. Like people kind of were pessimistic and like it'll never work, and the the craft beer community just believed in what they're trying to do, loves their beer, and we've seen it too. Um, oh, dude, everyone loves their beer. I mean, yeah. So I mean, they've like I said, they're the fastest. I like without having the actual stats in front of me, I would be willing to bet they're the fastest growing brewery in the country right now. Wow, and. I like uh, this. I like, like that. I like that. I, that bold I talked to a group. prediction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go with it. But I, I've just seen like I don't know of any other brewery opening eight brew pubs right now. No. You know, like around you know major You're not cities. Get it. And uh, I was just talking to a group of customers in our Barclay location from Portland up for the day or the weekend, traveling to Seattle and Bellingham doing beer tours. And and then I've also listened to a couple podcasts of like big beer blogs like. Um, you know, Beervana and some of those those other ones with John Hall. And like they were talking about how Portland is such Portland is hyper local when it comes to beer. So like I mean, beer bars in Portland don't serve beer from breweries that aren't in Portland. It's like it's just it's not a thing. It's just there's so many breweries oh, yeah, in Portland and there's so many things. Good point. And they're so local. They're so keep Portland Portland, keep Portland weird that it's 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 really cool and and Bellingham reflects that in a lot of ways and mm. we've noticed that too. Yeah. Where if you go into most bars in Bellingham, they're they serving have local Bellingham beer, beer for sure. And uh so it was kind of a questionable call on how modern times would be pers- or you know received into that community coming from San Diego. Yeah. Opening a brewery actually in the commons uh Oh, oh the old space. space? Yeah, cool. when they closed down. And uh, I think we talked about that in a previous podcast, but uh, that's all right. But yeah, taking over, kind of being like California kids coming into town, and this group that I talked to were saying like, yeah, they came in, they were charging seven or eight dollar pints in Portland, where they're charging five fifty or six dollars, and there's line out the door all the time, oh. and they just can't figure it out. And it's the same for us. I mean, their kegs are. Their kegs are expensive. They, like yeah. their beer is not cheap, and we've been, you know, charging accordingly. And yeah. they're expensive beer, but people, I mean, it's people just like phenomenal it. beer. They've been able to create the demand, and uh, they're growing. They're growing. Yeah, I love this. I think I saw like a uh, a stat recently that. No, I think I'm going to kind of go back on this and probably cut this out, but it was something that had to do with like how much millennials spend on beer or something like that each. You know, a, I'm going to just cut this out because I can't remember <laughs> the stats. I wish I had the stats, but I don't have it. But didn't our, did our, when our team went down to Portland, was Modern Times there at the yeah. time? Okay. Yeah. So our Linden crew went down, Josh, Leslie, mm-hmm. Alexa, and Natalie. Thanks, Josh. You and, know. Uh, yeah. Oh. RIP, bud. Yeah. RIP. Um, and they just loved it. And w- so I've been actually. I'll, I'll have to pull out the archives and find the, the photo from when I went down to their original place when it was the one and only, um, cause they do coffee too. So they're a coffee roaster also. And, uh, oh, that's right. I forgot. And about so that. I have connections to the coffee world that I was able to go down there, get a tour of their spot and, and kind of like play around in the brewery and see their canning line and stuff in action. 
when it was the original. And then I went back like a year later when they had one in a different part of San, San Diego, just a tasting room. So I've been to a couple of theirs, but then now, yeah, they went, they come out to Portland yeah. and what they're doing in all of them is like just weird off the wall stuff in their spaces. Like one I went to had floppy disks in like, patterns like different color floppy disks and making art over the whole wall or like some have like uh like move like move vhs i think you're talking about like a big like, floppy disk yeah like the yeah. actual floppy disk yeah so for but those, for those who like don't know covered on yeah. the walls making like a pac-man face or oh, something like so you great. know like it's so great yeah yeah for our but, uh, for our like you know 25 and under uh, age group, the floppy disk is something you used to use in an old computer that stored your information, which yeah. no longer exists. But that's pretty rad. You pull up a photo for me? I'm going to see if go. I can find one. Because cool. you would you would like it being in the IT background. Yeah, that would make me very happy. I think that's super, super creative. Yeah, so like this is oh. all floppy disks. Like wow. You kind of see. It's like a huge mural. That's sick. Oh, I see it, yeah. See. And they painted the floppy all disks. The way, no, yeah, are they painted them or, or they're, they're colored, just different colored yeah, floppy colored discs? Colored. Like, because they still have the Man. like hard metal like Bro. section thing and stuff. That's like, just genius. They just That's do just weird genius. stuff like that. But they just they in their can labels. Like we yeah. just had Ghost Mountain from them in yeah. in the cans. That they're can just was beautiful. They're they sold out right away because that this beer was one. phenomenal. I'm pretty sure this is all like post-it notes or something oh like weird. Goodness. But it's just like huge, yeah, that's fabulous. Crazy that's art fabulous. Murals. Yeah. Uh, take a, take a, take like a screenshot of this whole thing. Do you want to take a screenshot of your screen? Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, cause then I can like, maybe if I decide to do, to show this video in a way, I can cut back to that. But I, even though I doubt I'll do it. Sweet. Yeah. I, yeah. I've never been there. You have, uh, and I've our staff the two, have. The two cool. in San Diego, the linen crew went down to the Portland and they toured a handful of breweries down in Portland. And I, the consensus was modern times was their favorite. Beautiful. So this is just one of those breweries. It has a lot of hype, a ton of hype, but seems to be deserved. Seems to be a well-respected brewery. Yeah, the beer is consistently great. It's consistently changing. Yeah, and uh, I love yeah. it. So uh, we have uh, we're going into uh, sorry to oh, cut dude, back, but like look you can that. see a little closer up how. Oh shoot, that's all right. I mean that is ridiculous, <laughs> dude. Yeah, well, uh, um, I so not to get too far away from modern times. Cause this is a phenomenal, I would love to go down and see their brewery and especially the, what they got going on in Portland. Um, so it's fresh shop season. So this podcast is being recorded on what date? What date is your, uh, the first, uh, the first of today. October yeah. and yeah. it's going to be edited and Hopefully actually you're released tomorrow. tomorrow on the yeah. second. <laughs> yeah. 9 a.m. So I'm going to edit this thing. So we have, uh, let's talk about fresh shop season, man. We got a, yeah. we got an event coming up on Friday, this Friday at we both do. locations. Uh, there'll be some fresh shops on at both locations. The fourth. Yep. Friday, the fourth. Uh, can you give some insights on maybe a couple beers you'll have on? Like maybe one or just, no, not yeah. all, maybe not all of them, but like, um, you know, give me one for each location. One that jumps to mind right off the bat is, uh, from one of my personal favorite breweries, Rubens. Yes. Double Crush. Crush is I've talked about it on the podcast multiple times. So mad at me gone. That's gonna be gone. I just love that beer. By the time I get back on Saturday, I guarantee it. <sighs> should I see if I can get some more and save it? Yeah, that'd be great. Maybe actually, I should. yeah. So we'll have some some Rubens Crush on, which I'm really excited about. Um, I'm all, but another kind of sector I'm excited about is like we're seeing some logger fresh up loggers yeah. come in. Yeah, it's going to be cool. So we'll have a couple of different ones at each of those one from Aslan and one from ecliptic out of Portland, cool. a couple of other favorite breweries of ours. Um, Fremont just seems to always kill yeah. on the fresh shops. So know like, what they're doing. it's one of those ones you've probably had it in the past, but like it's different every year and they're just so, they're so good. You got to have it. Yeah. Um, cool. stoop. Love it. Love North it. North fork. This is going to be great. Throwing some love to Eric. Yeah. Some fresh rhymes. He did a rye fresh hop. Ooh. Which we kind of have a little different twist. Of so, course, of course. Yeah, man. Wander. We yeah. got a we got a, a lineup of some of our favorites stacked up. Yeah. So you guys will be able to. I believe Angela has it set up to where you guys will be able to um, have like a little passport. You'll be able to grab at each location, and if you get a beer or a flight or. You'll get a stamp. Uh, I think there'll just be one stamp for each location. And if you hit both locations up over the weekend, right? Not just Friday, right? Or is it just Friday? 
Just Friday. Okay, just believe, Friday. Yeah. And then you hit Sorry. up both locations in one day, which is kind of random, but it would be kind of fun. You get access to some glassware, free yeah. glassware. We got right? lots of glassware to give away. So yeah. get your hands on it. We got Steins left over. Yeah. We got some dip a day glasses. Yes. Some, yeah. I don't well, know. The all Steins kinds would be kind of cool. Yeah. So if you work in Bellingham and you live in Linden, stop at Overflow Barkley first before you go home. Have a pint. Go to Linden. Tour day pint, Overflow. Tour day Overflow. Up. Get your glassware. It's kind of a fun thing for us. Um, uh, put some fresh hops on and, and uh, you know, get rid of some glassware that we've got sitting on the shelf that you yeah. guys probably love. Yeah. So I'm we'll be rotating that. through them over the weekend, but Friday is the day they'll all be on at both locations. So you want to be there Friday if you want to try them all. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So what next, man? Should we jump into uh, into this next beer? Yeah. You got uh, you going to hook a brother up with a little. Uh, I will. Nice. Right. We're prepped. We got glassware over here. Yeah. So far, I mean, so far, so so good on the cleanliness of the glassware. You never know with me sometimes, but, you know. And I'm excited about this beer. Uh, while I'm pouring, why don't you tell them how fresh this beer is coming out of our lines? Over yeah. There? Oh, by the way, this is super fresh. So Adam uh, cleans our lines, our beer lines, every two weeks. Uh, and then every quarter does kind of a special cleaning that does, um, you know, something he'll explain more, but something a little special, a little special, special cleaning on them. But yeah, yeah, lines clean this morning. We filled these growlers just, just minutes before this podcast. Yes. So we should have some fresh, Super clean fresh lines and, uh, we're thinking about lining up a special podcast just to kind of talk some beer science stuff about the technology and cleaning besides that. Or behind that. Because it uh, is important. I mean, and everyone needs to know that. You cannot underestimate the importance of it. It's yeah. it's make or break beer. Yeah. It Which really is. It's why you go to some places and you don't enjoy a beer. Yeah, but you don't know it. And you might not know it. Yeah. Especially if you're not a, you know, beer connoisseur yeah. or a frequent beer drinker. But, yeah. man, it can really, yeah, really hurt. Yeah, and in that podcast, I think we're going to do something where we... Uh, have some beer post cleaning and even or pre cleaning and post cleaning. Yeah, we'll so see if we can taste the difference. Yeah, even after two weeks, right? So yeah. that would be kind of interesting. It's one, so one of the fun things. Yeah, dude. It. What's uh, what's this beer? All right, we're, what did you bring me today? I'm going man? on script from uh, the source, <laughs> Modern Times Instagram. I got it right here because I think they just describe it well. So this is this is gonna be. Have you tried this beer yet? Uh, I think I had a, no, oh, I haven't, I haven't tried it. Oh, you haven't? I haven't All tried right. it actually. I haven't either. So this will be fun. So this beer is called Blanc on Blanc on Blanc on Blanc. So they did a beer <laughs> like two years ago, I think that was called Blanc on Blanc. And it was an idea of pairing Sauvignon Blanc grapes with like, uh, I feel like we had that beer. Halvartal Blanc hops or something like okay. that. And so going here here's their description from yes. their instagram i'm just going to read it straight up so we can get get an idea of what we're doing so blanc on blanc on blanc on blanc on blanc this enchantingly hazy 7.7 percent double ipa was loaded up with a hefty dose of sauve blanc grape must and stuffed to the gills with nelson sauvin so it's basically a well what i'm seven away from the instagram what i'm getting here is we're playing with sauvignon blanc and beer. Gotcha. So we got some Nelson Sauvignon hops, some Hallertau Blanc hops, some citrus hops, some Sauv Blanc grapes, and the result is a glorious explosion of mango, passion fruit, gooseberry, white wine that satif- satisfies the palate and soul. You can pour. Oh, uh, you can get it out. The t- you can get it out either or. No, no, no. Actually, sorry. Cut it, this yeah, out, yeah, Jesse. Yeah, yeah, you can yeah. get it at our Linden location. <laughs> yeah, it's I, was reading, location. I was reading their Instagram, and <laughs> it said you can pour at either tasting room, but no. that's not true. For ours, just one. Cheers. This is interesting. This is a dirty beer. Yeah, I mean, the color looks... Uh, it's, yeah, I mean, this thing is... <laughs> it's thick. It's very it's thick, very thick. Uh, as with most kind of hazy style beers, you don't get a super crazy head retention on it, but uh, as you'd expect. Yeah, it's pretty... Darker orange looks kind of reminiscent of orange juice. Smells a little bit like orange juice to me, anyway. Yeah, there's very like they describe mango pass fruit, gooseberry. I'm not very familiar with, but not too familiar with gooseberry. Oh, I do like this taste. Mm-hmm. I get mango in there. Yeah, what the heck's a gooseberry? Look up a gooseberry because <laughs> like. 
So on the smell, Ooh. it was actually Ooh. like the smell was not super strong, but the taste is very good there. It's big and it's very like fruity and juicy, but I also, I definitely get that white wine that yeah. they're talking about. You can definitely pick yeah. up on that kind of like, almost like a, yeah. like a little bit sweetness to yeah. to it. Yeah, you can get like kind of, you can definitely taste like. I don't it, like sweet IPA, so I don't yeah. want to like say that wrong, but like you can definitely pick it up. It's probably the seven and a half or 7.7% alcohol adding some sweetness to it. Something interesting I get on the back end actually um, is a taste of candy right on the back end, like right at the very end. I can't think of what candy flavor it is. It might be like a form of like a bubble gum or something, but I don't want to say bubble gum because you can associate that with a bunch of different, you know, with, with mainly with a, with a couple styles, but this one has a candied back end to it that I'm trying to kind of, um, correlate with something I've had before. I can't pin it That's down. Good. It's really, really good. It's a, it's a very good beer. I don't like, I hate to just use the word good as a descriptor, yeah. but I would, I would, like, this is a beer I'll thoroughly enjoy this yeah. kind of. What'd you find on Gooseberry? It's something I don't think I ever knew of before today, actually. I'm learning something as I read. Cool. So it's, here, let me kind of spin this around All so right. you can see this. All right. Look at these things. They're like, oh, wow. They're kind of weird. So it's native to Europe and, it's kind of like let me read it. It's just so tech it's just so, yeah, <laughs> so much technical like, yeah, jargon. Can I get an aroma on this <laughs> yeah, thing? What the heck's like, going on? We'll do another look. We'll do yeah, that search. Here. We'll do that search. Wikipedia, come yeah. on. You failed us. <laughs> yeah. Like, Give me that something is else. A lot of information. I don't know, man. It's kind of just I think what I'm getting on the very back end of this is actually, I want to say, a, a little hint of cotton candy. That's kind of what I'm getting at the very, very end. Just a little tiny hint of cotton candy. Um, this beer is really, really good. And uh, you get that white wine kind of almost like alcohol. Like yeah. what you, the alcohol you taste yeah. in the white wine I kind of get in this. Um, smells a little bit like orange juice to me. And uh, it definitely tastes kind of juicy, but it's a really, really good beer. And then I just get kind of a kind of a cotton can. I get a little sweeter on, sweeter on the back end, but I really like this beer. It's yeah. Really good job. So kind of Blanc what I'm Blanc finding Blanc out Blanc about Blanc Blanc, Blanc, Blanc is uh, gooseberries are, they typically taste like a semi-sour grape. Okay. Okay. Kind of like a grape before ripening. Not bad. Not bad. No, this is definitely gonna finish this before we uh we yeah get out, so get out of here today. uh and then uh this okay so I'm kind of getting back into the description of this thing so not only does it have the Nelson Savion hops the Javier Javier or it's hard to pronounce Javier Blanc hops yeah. but uh it's also got or the Haller Hall, Blanc sorry I'm reading and talking at the same time but it's uh, it's got a Sauv Blanc wine yeast it's oh. fermented with too. So it's got some wine must, some wine, Sauv Blanc grape must, yeah. the Sauv Blanc wine yeast, and then those hops. So that's where the Blanc on Blanc on Blanc on Blanc comes in. This is cool. It's pretty, that's a fun idea. Yeah, and it's a good beer. Um, and yeah, I mean, a lot of times when you come up with an idea for a beer that's so kind of like a beer wine hybrid or whatever, sometimes it can be more of a fun idea than a good beer but this one is yeah i enjoy this so quite tasty it uh unless we sell out tonight which i, I highly doubt this will be on tap but when you listen to this podcast at our linden location uh, it'll be on for sure yeah uh well if you're listening to it on the wednesday release it if you listen later oh, yeah, to wednesdays yeah, yeah. then i got nothing for you but yeah. october 2nd actually um so yeah this has been great man look at this so uh shall we in the pod let's wrap it down wrap it up uh cheers dude yeah to cheers. a new uh great beer and uh, a new uh backdrop some potential video and uh, yeah see what we got